everyone. I have some sad news. Basically, I have to say goodbye to my gaming setup and my bedroom in this house because the family I'm living with is relocating. Um, I want to do something for memory's sake, so I'm just going to show you guys where I've been gaming and what I'm all about. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Okay? Bye! I'm going to start with the most exciting part of the room. My back. In all honesty though, it is just a back door. I keep a bunch of my sweaters here just cause you know, we are Canadian. Here we have my MLG backpack, my Super Mario side bag, and a bunch of lanyards I've collected. My purse, uh, my shoes, main reason because I don't like keeping any of my shoes downstairs. Uh, we've got three dogs in the house, which, and I would never want them to destroy these cause they are my Chun-Li kicks. This was a little corsage that my boyfriend gave to me at his prom. My big huge anime poster of Inuyasha when I was obsessed with it when I was a kid. And this is actually a really cool part of the room. It's just the corner above my bed, but I keep all the games that I'm currently playing in here. So I think I've got DJ Hero 2 here, Mass Effect that I'm trying to get through, Tekken 6, the Dreamcast Collection, two copies of Call of Duty, Halo 3, an extra pair of Sennheiser PC 350s, uh, two copies of Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4, another Halo Reach, and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And welcome to the craziest of which is my bed. I've got my Batman hat. Oh gosh, I've had this for, I don't know, 10 years or something at least. I have Miku. I have Domo. I have a huge Barney blanket. You're gonna think I'm probably weird for having that. Say hello to all my plushies, yay! As you can see, whoa, what's going on here? Oh my god, so many colors, yeah. I've got a little fox and a dog. It was supposed to resemble the fox and the hound. Great Disney movie, so sad. They're Dumbo, they're Sebastian. I love Little Mermaid. There's all my Pokemon toys. I've got the entire Sonic family in the back. I won those all individually at Whack-A-Mole at an amusement park. Link hiding in there, Cheshire Cat from White Alice in Wonderland, Cardcaptor Sakura. Above the front of my bed is another anime poster. Oh, I made this. Always epic. Always. A little Rubik's Cube on top of my poster. And I don't know if you're wondering, but there's a little, seems like a stick in the corner of my room, but that is an actual electric guitar that I won at a Guitar Hero tournament in high school. I have Miku again, I have Sakura again. This I never got to actually finish, but this was supposed to be photos of myself um, traveling to places I've always wanted to go to. So I have here, in front of, right in front of the Statue of Liberty in New York. This was in Germany at World Championship Rubik's Cube competition that I went and supported my boyfriend in. Whoa, I love Rubik's Cube. Whoa. And just below. Are my keychains, Sakura, Sailor Moon, Miku. Here is my nightstand. Those were the boxes of Rubik's Cubes from the photo right there that I took from Germany and I literally packed it in my luggage and all that and reassembled it here and used it as a nightstand. My graduation photo. Most importantly, uh, a photo of my Lola, my grandma. She did pass away recently and um, I just like to keep this here just to, you know, remember her. I have a mini fridge. Kind of necessity for a gamer, don't you think? Uh, yeah, so I just keep my drinks in here. Pudding. Oh, it smells like alcohol, what the hell? I has a Pokeball, my MLG bracelet, a Rubik's Cube purse that I'll actually never ever use as a purse. Is that would be kind of embarrassing. My USB key, my Nintendo DS Lite, my 3DS that I recently just got. Yeah. So I have my travel logs so I can do like a checklist for whenever I travel. My Halo books. Um, I have an obsession with these. Don't ask me why, but I've got the clear glasses here. And I've got the sunglasses. Yeah, that's the uh, Halo Legendary Edition with the helmet. So on my nightstand, I have my two pairs of gunner glasses. The one I've actually had since 2007, I believe, when I was doing testing for them um, for the Ampere Game National Video Game Tour across Canada. And I have my lovely, lovely Mad Cat's Chun-Li fight stick. Planning on changing the, the top of it. I bought this one at um, PAX, I think? Yeah, it was actually PAX. My MLG water bottle. Love sporting this around, yo. My Rat 7 mouse. And my rhythm game controllers, yay! 
There's my DJ Hero and my Beat Mania controller. Rock Band and Guitar Hero controllers in the back hiding there. Hello! Hello! As you can see, it's Emma Tarasu from Okami. So to the other corner of my room, my three fight six that I've got here. Uh, my Chun Li one, my Super Street Fighter Four uh, fight six, and recently the one that I just picked up, my Marvel vs. Capcom three fight six that I'm really really excited to use. If it really weren't for these Mad Cat's fight sticks, I really don't think I would have been into fighting games as much as I am right now. And to the most awesome part of the room, my entire game library. I basically have, I guess you want to call it a Halo Shrine. My Master Chief toy is back there. Uh, I've got my 360 game, as you can see. StarCraft 2, Super Mario All-Stars, uh, Resident Evil 3, it's all of my Sega Dreamcast games. Third Shell! Bunch of games from different systems. We'll start on the left here. My Game Boy games, my Xbox games, regular Xbox. I didn't have a whole lot. My PlayStation 2 games, and my PC games back there. And then I got my N64 games. I do have a few more, but I think I lent a bunch to my friend. And then I have a whole bunch of PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast games just sitting here. And of course, my first Game Boy. Uh, my PSP 1000. As you can see, I decorated it when I was back in into Halo 2, obviously. Donkey Kong Country 2. Wow. These are my handheld games. As you can see, PSP games didn't have a whole lot of them either. All that. Fourth shelf in my room. Lips microphone, stylus, pokeball, guitar hero harmonica, don't ask me why. Strategy guide, red versus blue, the first four seasons. Bunch of figurine, uh, what is it? Oh, Pokemon. Four, five? Five. Which is just all my systems. My classic systems, GameCube. Super Nintendo, PS2, two PlayStation 1s, what the, alright, Sega like Dreamcast, N64, and I have my gaming posters that I love to collect, so I've got my Rainbow Six, um, evidently the Halo poster I have, um, I have a bunch of Tatsunoko vs. Capcom cards, epic, always. I used to watch my uh, dad play all the time on the computer. That's where it pretty much started. I have another poster of Miku, um, Harley Quinn, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. My DJ Hero poster is always epic again. And this piece here. This was done at MLG Meadowlands 2009, I believe. And it was me and my teammate at the time. They tried to draw me. Like, oh my god, what is wrong with you guys? Marvel vs. Capcom, a poster there. Uh, again, Sailor Moon, um, Guitar Hero poster. To where the magic happens. Eric here uses the Astro A40s. Eric and I like to have little tiny figurines. The man in a barrel. When you're bored. Of course, the Astro mix amp. So, there's his station right there. So, here is my little small monitor compared to Eric's. My headset. Sennheiser PC350s. Again, I also use the Astro A40 mix amp. And like I said, you know how Eric has his little mascot? Well, I've got mine. It's Ron Weasley. Here is my custom controller. It's gone through a lot. It really has. I definitely need a new one. It's starting to slow turn. Holy cow, look at that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And um, that's it. Hey everyone. Always epic, epic always.